Hello guys. Today we're going to talk about the post I made a few days ago. Step by step on how to study in the UK. Do you want to study in the UK? That's the question first. If you've been planning on how to relocate to the UK, one of the means of how to relocate to the UK is through study routes. Do you want to study in the UK for a master's, undergraduate level, PhD level? I want you to watch this video. Step one, I target, be prepared psychologically and physically, financially. And step two, you must not have first class or second class before you apply for your masters in the UK. Do not be deceived. Also, if you search on your Google, you can find out that some of the masters durations are one year and two years and so on. So you first of all, search the name of the school, search either you want to cheaper school Either you want a school in the low cost areas, you want a school with low tuition fee, you want a school with high tuition fee and low de deposit. Step three, get the required documents ready before you start your application the the requirement the documents like your degree certificate if you have one your high national diploma if you are applying with hnd depending on what you want. If you're going for masters or you're going for top up, which is upgrade, if you have national diploma, you get ready your school transcript. If you're going for undergraduate level, you get ready your WIAC certificate or your NECO certificate, if you're applying from Nigeria. You write a comprehensive CV, and you get ready your international passport. Statement of purpose, SOP of the course you're studying, what you want to achieve, such as school attended, previous employment history, upload employment letters, purpose of study, studying the course, what you want to achieve, why are you coming to UK for that masters? What you want to use that masters to do not only Jabba route. Proof of funds. 
which you are going to either you show them proof of fund, personal proof of fund, or you do the one they arrange. Proof of fund that you can pay for, of course, if you want. And you need to show them the maintenance for one academic year at least, so maintenance fee. And also your cost fee. No specific amount, it depends on the school you're applying for, the minimum requirements of the school. But it depends on the cost. It depends on the cost of the fee, the duration, and the cost of accommodation of the city applying. So I want you to watch the next episode. Thank you.